What's going on guys? So it's been a while since we've done a YouTube video. Um, we haven't done one since we've been back in Ohio. So I wanted to do another one and I wanted to change things up with this one. So every video we've done has kind of been more focused on the photo shoots themselves, kind of like behind the scenes of the shoots and showing you guys the results and things like that. For this one, I kind of want to show you like what goes on behind the scenes with the business. So what our day to day is like, um, give you guys a little bit of a picture of how much is involved in our, our daily life and what all goes into a photo shoot. So we're going to kind of take a look at, um, what a weekend is like for us. So it's Friday night. Um, we just finished editing around 35 shoots, uh, that we had this week. So we got all of that done, finally got everything finished up. Those will still have to be mailed out, um, sent out digitally and mailed out in the mail. So that's still got some, some time left on it, but right now we are headed to a senior session. So we're gonna get this done and then get back and do a little bit more editing. We gotta upload everything from this session and start getting ready for tomorrow because we have a wedding tomorrow and then we will be shooting in Middletown on Sunday. So it's gonna be a little bit uh, chaotic. So we want you just to kind of see like what all goes into a weekend with our business. So first up, we are going to be doing this senior session. This is a 2020 senior who basically has had this scheduled since February, but then with the shutdown and then Ohio weather and everything, it just keeps getting pushed back. So we are finally getting it done. Like the weather today is amazing. So we are going to get this finally taken care of and it should be one of our last few for our 2020 seniors. So that's good. But yeah, so to like put into perspective, like the amount of time that goes into all of these shoots, this will be a two hour shoot. Um, they get like unlimited outfit changes, as many pictures as we take. And then um, also this is a 45 minute drive for us. So like all together, this is a three and a half hour minimum shoot. So that takes a lot of time out of our Friday, but um, that's just the shooting part. Um, once we get to the editing, we'll kind of look at how much gets invested in that but it gives you guys a little bit of perspective of like what goes into making a shoot successful and the amount of time and work that we put into each one so here's a look at our setup for a senior session we have our nikon z6 that we're using uh, we use a diffuser to help manage the light variety of lenses always with us and of course using off-camera flash but then we also use the wagon to help um, carry the seniors different outfit changes and things like that with us and we have a tent for them to change in okay so one of the things that is always a distraction for me at every photo shoot has to be animals so anybody that shot with us knows that like dogs cats are always an issue. And at this shoot, we have donkeys. So while Darcy's doing a couple shots, I had to come over and visit these guys. There's two. So, yeah. Trying to lean your head back on the, there, whatever. Okay guys, so the senior session went really well. Um, we are headed now to a party. Um, yeah, so we went and shot all the way until sunset. We had six different outfits. Um, it got, you know, right down to the wire, but we got everything in and got some awesome shots. So now we're headed over to a family birthday party and um, that kind of brings up a good point, which is that we, really don't have a lot of a personal life or a social life when we do these shoots. Um, a, a lot of our photo shoots take place on weekday nights or weekends when people are off work and that's always the same time that like family functions are going on and things like that. So, you know, we don't get a lot of personal time and we miss out on birthday parties and, and holidays and things like that because we're always working. So moving forward into 2021, that's going to be one of our main goals is to, to have a work-life balance 
and to really take time for ourselves. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over here, stop by for a minute, and then we are um, gonna head home and start getting stuff ready for the wedding tomorrow. Finally made it home. It is 12.33 in the morning and we are transferring everything over to the computer, uh, getting all of the memory cards cleared, and then everything has to also be backed up to a hard drive as well. So we'll eat some dinner and watch some Netflix and start getting ready for tomorrow and the wedding. Good morning. So it is Saturday at almost eight o'clock now. Um, sunrise just happened. So, um, so far this morning, we've sent out some emails to make sure people get their pictures. Um, and now we're kind of going through all of the camera gear that I'm going to need for this wedding. So this is like the big selection process that we have to go through with every wedding. So every wedding is different, obviously indoor, outdoor, um, different locations. Sometimes you're closer to the action further away. So you don't have like a consistent camera lens set up for each wedding. Um, it'll change week to week. But a lot of the lenses and cameras stay pretty consistent. Um, so what I'm kind of doing today uh, before the wedding is picking out like what two cameras are going to be my main two cameras and then what two cameras are going to be Darcy's primary two. Uh, so we each wear camera straps that hold two cameras, one on the right, one on the left. So it's a matter of just kind of picking out like which one's going to be literally at my right hand and which one's going to be at my left. And then the extras will go in the hard box and that stays with us at all times when we're shooting weddings, just in case there's any issues with our cameras during the ceremony or anything. Um, you know, you have to have double backups basically because you can't miss a first kiss or anything like that. Like there's no redoing a wedding. So you have to make sure you have everything with you, backups for everything and backups for the backups. So um, making sure little things like our flash triggers are with us and that we have the right ones, batteries for everything, batteries for the flash units, uh, chargers for all of that because eight hours stuff's gonna die and need to be recharged. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot that goes into the selection process. And I'll, I don't wanna make this video like an hour long. So um, I'll do another one. We have a, another wedding coming up in a couple weeks, but if you guys are interested, like I'll do more of like what our actual gear is that we take to a wedding. Like why this is my primary camera, why this is the lens I prefer, you know, just little things like that. So um, yeah, that would be, something we could do in the future if you guys are interested in kind of learning what we use. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get this, get all the batteries on charge again, just to top them off. And then I have to go uh, mow my mom's yard really quick. And then I'll be back to load everything up and head to the wedding. We made it to the wedding. Um, it's definitely gonna be a hot one today. Uh, so we'll be here for about eight hours. And you saw earlier in the video, kind of getting everything ready. So let me, kind of break down what's gone on between then. So basically we got up at like 7.30, 8 um, in the morning, got everything packed up, and then I had to leave and go mow the grass at my mom's house because she's coming home later tonight. So I had to get her uh, boarding pass and everything ready. Uh, she's flying in from Myrtle Beach tonight. So I had to go get everything taken care of at her house, get the cat fed, yard mode then come all the way back to Xenia and load up all the gear because we left it charging to make sure everything's completely ready for this wedding and so we drove it was about an hour 15 minutes we're pretty far north of Troy right now and we're gonna be working this wedding for eight hours so overall we're looking at um just in the wedding time 11 hours of drive time shoot time and then after that, I gotta go pick up my mom at the airport, bring her home, and at some point get dinner. Um, the goal is to be home by like 1 a.m. because we have to be up again tomorrow at 7 a.m. So I'm not gonna be able to show you a whole lot of the wedding. Um, don't really wanna have my phone in the venue. Um, I try not to, to have my phone at weddings. Don't want it to go off, wanna leave it in the car. 
and don't want to just have it because it's tempting to like start looking at your phone or answering messages or anything like that and you know long day you want to make sure you're working the whole time and they're getting what they paid for so yeah i try to leave my phone in the car at every wedding um so i'll i'll post a couple little clips from the actual video that we have a camera that's always rolling video during the ceremony so you'll get to see just a little bit of what goes on but yeah i just wanted to kind of document like what all we go through today and how literally we won't be home today like we will have zero minutes of free time so all the things that need to be emailed out like none of that can get done right now but yeah let's uh let's get to this one midnight and this is our first time really basically being home all day other than coming here to pick up our equipment for the wedding we've been on the go since about eight o'clock this morning but that kind of gives you an idea of how much is going on so the wedding went really well um, we got out of there right around sunset and then went and picked up my mom at the airport and took her home and we just grabbed some dinner and now we're gonna head in here and work on editing. It is 8.30 on Sunday morning. So um, we got home really late from the wedding and we were extremely tired. And a lot of the stuff that was supposed to get done last night um, basically didn't. We went to sleep after we had dinner and everything. So, um, I'm up this morning getting everything taken off the cards, getting them transferred onto the computers, backed up on hard drives, and then um, getting all of our stuff ready to head to Middletown. We have our first shoot in Middletown today at 9 a.m. So we have to, or 9.30, we're gonna be there at nine, first shoot's at 9.30. So we're about to take off here and head that way. So I've got everything kind of gathered up. I've got like the angel wings back there. Um, that's the main thing we're adding. Basically my um, photography gear will be the same as what we used at the wedding. So luckily I don't have to like repack all that, but we're about to head there now and um, we'll see how today goes. So here's how today's going. I made it all the way to Middletown and realized that like one of the most important parts of our gear fell out of the bag in the house. So now I have to come all the way back to Xenia. And it's taken me, again, like 50 minutes to get here. And I've gotta go pick up the stuff that we left. Darcy's back in Middletown shooting. So um, we're not missing out on any of our time slots or anything, but yeah, definite inconvenience. What We've gotten absolutely killed with no shows. Um, out of the six or seven models that are professionals that we booked, one showed up and she absolutely killed it, but it just like, is so stressful in regards to the others. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's just part of the business and like, I guess kind of got arrogant and thought we were like hitting that level where like people took it seriously, but sometimes you can't even get a text. And that's just kind of like the reality of this is like, you kind of are seeing like the amount of work that goes into this and the fact that we had to, you know, pay $110 an hour to rent the wings in the studio and like not showing up, we lose so much money. And that's like our bills. Like not only are we not getting the money that we should from shoots, like if we're booking paying clients, but like we're losing money. So yeah, I mean, that, that sucks. And I don't know. Hopefully we get smarter and get better. Um, lessons learned, I guess. On a more positive note, who really needs models because we have the most 
amazing influencer team ever. So they stepped up and are doing the shoot instead. So <laughs> who needs your agency models, I guess. It's almost midnight and Darcy's finishing up her last shoot, but I'm done editing as much as I'm gonna get done here. Uh, I've got everything already packed up in the car, just waiting for her to finish her last shoot and then we'll be headed back home. But yeah, it's been a pretty successful day. Um, I had my cancellations, but that was all one shoot. So, you know, I had like four people lined up, two backed out, replaced them with two. They backed out, the other ones backed out. Like, like it was six cancellations, but it was literally all one time slot. So out of, you know, like 20 time slots, we only had one that was a complete mess and that was all on my end. So um, Darcy got all her shoots in, her models all showed up and did amazing. And I've got, I've met like a bunch of new ones that I'm gonna be working with. So we won't have this issue moving forward. But yeah, it's just like, I'm gonna leave the, the video segment that I already shot in this video. I think it'll kind of show like the stress and like conflicting thoughts that we go through and deal with on a daily basis. And, you know, we're working in like a creative industry where you have to like, be positive and confident or it'll show in your work. So, you know, you gotta like snap out of that instantly. And that's just how it is. Like, you know, there's moments where you're gonna doubt yourself or doubt the business or like wonder why you're doing what you're doing, but you can't let minor things carry over and ruin the whole day. So, you know, that sucked for that half hour, but we bounced back and we got amazing stuff done the rest of the day. But yeah, I, uh, you know, I kind of want you guys to see like a raw, unfiltered version of what it's like, so. I'm getting everything transferred over to the computer from all the shoots, but I wanted to show you the next step in like the editing process. So we put everything, once we've cut through it into Lightroom, and this is basically like applying a filter and this is how we make our determination for like what the edits are gonna be. And I mean, just basically it's similar to like a more advanced version of like an Instagram filter. Um, but yeah, so we go one by one through all the pictures. So the editing process itself, if it's a two hour shoot, it's typically like four hours between cutting through the pictures and, and editing. So when you think about like how much time goes into it, it's double editing time versus how long it takes to shoot on average. Uh, some take more, some take less. Uh, it just depends on lighting and how much you're changing. But that's kind of like all, everything that goes into the back end of it. And now we're getting all of the list of shoots added to our editing lineup. And we're scheduled to be back at Lion and Ram again and a day so we got to get as much of this done as possible but the nice thing is is that it's finally a day off um day offs don't really mean that we're laying in bed all day or we're you know getting to do anything but it means we get to edit and we're not getting more behind um the hardest thing about photo shoots is that you're every day you're adding more and more to the list of things that need done so today is a day that we get to kind of get caught up on things and take that list back down before we do it all over again. But I wanted to just kind of make this video to show you the day-to-day -day life and, and how crazy it really gets. And you know, it's, it's up and down and it's crazy. But then you have to figure in like all of this, we also have to fit in like having a personal life and trying to get our house remodeled and all the regular things that everybody deals with, we have to somehow manage to fit that in on our schedule when we literally just went three days and basically um, only had a couple hours of time at all to be at our house. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this format, I know it's a really long video. Um, yeah, leave us a comment and let us know if we should do some more of this versus the typical, like, here's behind the scenes of a photo shoot and here's the results. Uh, I think this kind of gives you a more inside look at, like, what goes on and how crazy it can be and maybe puts a little bit of um, our business into perspective. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stay subscribed. 
like this video, drop a comment, and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for watching.